Assalamu alaikum guys today I'm on this construction site and I will give you information related and steel reinforcement especially for development land so what is development land guys uh, today I will show you practically in this video what is development land guys you can see this is RCC beam okay plinth beam because this is plinth level so this is plinth beam here guys you can see here we have at the top three steel bars at the bottom we have two steel rods okay now guys you cannot see uh, because we don't have the other column to link these reinf reinforcement with other columns so therefore guys here this is uh, these are steel bars so here on this place on this point we should provide development length so this steel bar should be bent downside okay with the length of with the length of 18 inches okay so 16 to 18 inches the it should be bent okay and it should become to downside okay and these two steel rods okay it should be bent and they should be go to the upward side and the length should be 18 inches okay not less than 18 inches so guys this is called development length but you cannot see here development length so what is the work of development length okay so listen me guys development length is very important especially at this point that's why because it can slip okay these steel bars from the concrete so therefore to make a good bond between steel and, and concrete so we should provide development length okay so this steel bar should not be cut at this point but it should be bent and with the length of 18 inches it should be come to the downside and these the bottom steel bar should be come to the upward side okay so this is called development length but unfortunately they didn't provide the development length for both sides guys you can see and these uh, steel bars should be uh, uh, binded okay with the help of bending wire with these uh, main longitudinal bars for uh, this rcc column okay so these should be bent development length but you cannot see here development length so therefore uh, this is not the proper way okay but the development length should be provided at this point okay now guys come here you can see here also here uh, we don't need to link these this column to that one okay so therefore this is uh, uh, the corner so at this corner also we need the development length but they didn't provide okay so guys uh, this is very important development length to make a good bond between steel and concrete but unfortunately you can't see so this is the wrong design okay the steel reinforcement design is wrong so therefore uh, I'm telling you in many videos that the <clears throat> steel structure is very important for any type of building but especially for commercial building educational building but uh, uh, here guys you can see what should i tell you look at here so the hooks are bent with 90 degree so it should be provided with 135 degree look at here the spacing should be closely near at support but you can see this is about eight to nine inches okay but at the mid you can keep uh, maximum compared to uh, end of the support but you can see this is same okay sometime 10 inches 9 inches so guys this is not the proper design so therefore it cannot resist shear stresses because shear stresses are maximum at the end of the support guys you can see here okay <clears throat> guys uh, let me show you here also uh, we need to provide okay i don't need because they need to provide uh, extra bars are bent up bar at this point to resist your stresses but unfortunately I can't say anything you can see look at here guys here at this point they should provide the development length but you can't see here okay this bar should be come to the downside and they should provide okay Okay, here also these bottom bars and also top bars 